this video I'll be showing you how to sharpen your pictures using the high pass filter. So I'll be using this picture for the first example and I'll be leaving links to all the pictures I'm using in the description. So I'm first going to the filter studio, then to sharpen. I'm turning on add live filters and then I'm clicking on the high pass filter. So now the picture is completely grey but when you bring the radius up you can start to see the details in the photo and the details that you see is what's going to be sharpened. So basically the higher the radius, the more of the picture you can see, so the more of the picture is sharpened. I'll bring the radius quite high for the examples, but usually you'd want it quite low to only sharpen the details a little bit. I'm also clicking on monochrome, so the final effect will only contain the grayscale values and not sharpen any of the colours. But the colours will come back when you change the blend mode. And there's a few different blend modes that I think work quite well and they offer different effects. Some of them are softer and some of them have a higher contrast. So just mess around with them and see which one you prefer but for this example I'll be using Vivid Light. So now that I've picked the blend mode and got the effect I want, I can bring the radius down so it's not as harsh. And if you only want the high pass filter applied to a specific part of the picture, then add an empty mask layer to the filter. Then go to the paintbrush tool, put the colour on white and paint over the areas where you want the high pass filter applied. And if you've made a mistake and need to remove it, then change the colour to black. So now you can see before and after the high pass filter. I'm using this picture for the next example and I'm applying the high pass filter and again I'm bringing the radius up quite high and I'm selecting monochrome. And the blend mode is on linear light. But in this picture you can see some white haloing going around him as well as some harsh black outlines. And so to remove that, click on the high pass filter layer and then go to layer options and then you can see these two boxes. And those are the blend ranges which allows you to adjust the blending of the layers. And so on the source graph, pixels on the selected layer become less visible when the nodes are moved downward. And on the destination graph, the pixels on the underlying layers becomes more visible as the nodes are moved down and both graphs represent tonal values from the darkest on the left to the lightest on the right but for this video I'll just be using a source graph so if I drag the highlight node down you can see the haloing disappear and if it hasn't removed all of it then you can move the node a little bit to the left and then to remove the dark outline just bring down the shadow node and that should get rid of it So then if you want to sharpen it even more, you can duplicate the high pass filter. And that way instead of sharpening the whole picture, you've just got the detail sharpened by duplicating it. And because it's a live filter, you can double tap and adjust the radius. 